Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Here we can see our addressing table and uh, this addressing table is incomplete. We have to fill this uh, default gateway of these uh, devices. Uh, we will go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity. Uh, finish the network documentation, right? We have to complete this default gateway. Perform basic device configurations on a router and a switch. Verify connectivity and troubleshoot any issues. We will go through the scenario here. Your network manager is impressed with your performance in your job as a LAN technician. She would like you to now demonstrate your ability to configure a router connecting to LANs. Your tasks include configuring basic settings on a router and a switch using the Cisco IOS. You will then verify your configurations as well as configurations on existing devices by testing end-to-end -end connectivity. They given a note here. After completing this activity, uh, you can choose to click the Reset Activity button to generate a new set of requirements. Variable aspects include device names, IP addressing schemes and the topology. So here uh, we got uh, uh, one topology and addressing schemes. So according to these uh, requirements, we are uh, going to complete this packet tracer activity. Also we will go through the requirements. Provide the missing information in the addressing table, name the router floor 14 and the second switch room-146. You will not be able to access room 145, right? Use Cisco as the user exit password for all lines. Use class as the privileged exit password. Encrypt all plain text passwords. Configure an appropriate banner. Configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table. Document interfaces with the descriptions including the room-146 VLAN 1 interface. Then save your configurations. Verify connectivity between all devices. All devices should be able to ping any other device. Troubleshoot and document any issues. So we will do this one by one now. First of all, we will get the missing information from this addressing table. Here we can see uh, default gateway for uh, these devices. Uh, here we can see room-145 and room-146. Uh, these two devices are uh, switches. And here we can see four entity devices. So that is uh, manager A, reception A, manager B and reception B. So we are going to get the default gateway for uh, these uh, six devices. Right, it's quite easy to find the default gateway. Here we can see three devices room 145 manager a and reception a obviously these devices are connected to the router uh, through this interface here we can see that name it's gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 so obviously the default gateway for these devices will be the ip address of this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see that address the router name is floor 14 here we can see that gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 its address is 128.107.20.1 and coming to these devices that is a room hyphen 146 manager b and reception b here we can see this network is connected to uh, the interface of uh, uh, floor 14 here we can see that interface it's uh, gigabit ethernet let me see that Yes, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. So obviously the default gateway for these uh, devices will be the IP address of this interface, uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on floor 14 router. Here we can see the IP address of this interface. Yes, here we can see that 128.107.30.1. First of all, we will uh, name the uh, devices. Uh, and uh, we can rename only this uh, floor 14 and uh, room-146 uh, here uh, they clear, clearly mentioned uh, you will not be able to access a uh, room-145 so we will check that uh, coming to room-145 here we are getting the message configure is locked right so uh, we will uh, configure this router and this switch Coming to the router uh, floor 14, 
enable configure terminal we are going to set the host name as a floor 14 well now we will come to the switch room 146 enable configure terminal here we are going to set the host name as room hyphen 146 now we are going to uh, set the line passwords uh, on these devices coming to the router line console 0 we are going to set the password as cisco then login now we will go to line bty 0 to 15 password as cisco login coming to the switch line console 0 password as cisco login now we will go to line bty the lines from 0 to 15 password as cisco login coming to the router now we are going to set a privilege to exit password configure terminal here we are going to enable secret as the password as specified its class and now we are going to encrypt all plain text passwords using service password encryption also here we are going to uh, set uh, appropriate banner so banner MOTD delimiter the message here we are going to give warning right now coming to our switch room 146 first we will set a privileged exit password configure terminal enable secret password is class now we will encrypt all plain text passwords using service password encryption and we are going to set the banner uh, banner MOTD the delimiter warning right now we are going to set the IP address uh, as per the addressing table here we can see that uh, for the router floor, uh, floor 14 uh, for the interface gigabit third zero slash zero we have to set this IP address here we can see the subnet mask and for the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here is the IP address and it is subnet to mask right we will configure uh, in this router so we have to come to the interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to set the IP address here is the address and uh, subnet to mask 255.255.255.0 and we are going to give no shot command right coming to the next interface uh, that is uh, we have to exit from here and we have to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we are going to set the IP address it's a 30.1 and now we have to give the subnet to mask 255.255.255.0 and no shot command well now we will configure uh, the addressing for this device uh, switch room hyphen 146 oops right we will exit and we have to go to the interface oh configure terminal interface VLAN 1 and here we are going to set the IP address here is the address for the switch and uh, submit to mask 255.255.255.0 and no shot command right now we will set a default gateway for this uh, switch room hyphen 146 uh, before going to the configuration here we can see uh, this uh, switch is connected to uh, the interface here we can see that gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on this router floor 14 
so obviously the default gateway for uh, these devices not only for this uh, switch room hyphen 146 uh, also for this uh, manager hyphen b and reception hyphen b the default gateway will be the ip address of this interface here we can see that ip address it's 128.107.30.1 so we will set that for this switch so we will exit and we will set the default gateway we have to go to ip default gateway right now we are going to set the default gateway here i already copied that address right well now we will uh, save the configuration of this uh, device uh, switch uh, room hyphen 146 copy running config to startup config now we are going to uh, check this uh, entity devices manager hyphen b and reception hyphen b coming to manager hyphen b desktop ip configuration here we can see that we are going to match with our uh, addressing table right here we can see that to manage our hyphen b it's 128.107.30.25 yes it's correct and here we can see the submit to mask yes it's correct and here we can see default gateway is not set so we are going to set the default gateway so here the default gateway is 128.107.30.25 right so we will copy this now we will uh, check with the reception B IP configuration reception B here we can see that 128.107.30.30 here we can see that they assign the IP address incorrectly so here are they given 20.30 as per the addressing table it's 30.30 .30. and now we will set the default gateway right also we will check these two systems manager hyphen a and reception hyphen a according to our addressing table uh, coming to manager a ip configuration here we can see that manager a it's 20.25 yes it's correct so we have to set the default gateway so for this pc the default gateway here we can see that uh, this network is connected to uh, this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, on this router uh, floor 14 so the ip address of this interface will be the default gateway for all these devices right here we can see that address i am going to copy this so that it will be more faster right so we are going to change the default gateway now we will uh, check the reception hyphen a here we can see the address it's 20.30 yes it's correct now we will set the default gateway here right now we are going to save the configuration uh, in this router also password it's Cisco enable password is class so we are going to copy from running config to startup config now we will ping the device uh, each other uh, we will get the IP address of a manager B here we can see that coming to manager a command prompt here we are going to ping to manager B yes we are getting the replay now we will uh, try from reception a to manager b yes we are getting the replay now we will get the ip address of our reception b coming to manager a ping to reception b yes we are getting the replay now we will uh, do it from reception a to reception b
Yes, we are getting the replay. Yes, that's all in this PyCard Toys for Activity Skills Integration Challenge. Here we have seen only the basic configurations and uh, end to end connectivity. Here we can see our completion status 100 out of 100. So, friends, uh, if you have any doubt in this PyCard Toys for Activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. Also, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.